the story of my family is one of triumph and sacrifice. How we led a revolution against tyranny. And now it falls on my shoulders to save my world. Someone from the future is coming to destroy Krypton. Because where I'm from, your grandson becomes the greatest hero of the universe. The story of my family isn't about how we died. It's about how we lived. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Krypton Season 1. And today we're going to be breaking down the trailer that you just watched for the first episode, or probably the first few episodes, but this trailer was awesome, so we're going to be breaking it down. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Krypton videos, because I intend on making Krypton videos for every episode, because this show looks so good, and I'm so excited for the storylines, the characters, and everything surrounding it. It really reminds me of of a cinematic experience and obviously the budget's a lot higher with David S. Goya who was the writer of Man of Steel and The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight's like one of the best superhero films of all time if not the best superhero film of all time so obviously they're going to give them a big budget and it's on sci-fi which is known for the kind of crazy big TV shows and so I'm really excited please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Krypton videos this year but we're going to break down this trailer shot by shot so in the first shot we see Segal who is actually Kal-El's grandfather and if you didn't know this is a Superman prequel series and we're not sure if it's set in the DCEU but the logo is kind of similar and David S. Goya obviously has links to the DCEU and DC films and everything to do with that but we're not sure as of now so that's up in the air you can say yes you can say no I'm not going to give you a definitive answer on that right now because I don't know but it's a really nice wide cinematic shot of Segal kneeling on the ground so I really do like that but the next shot is really interesting because we see Ian Mc Kennelly's character and he's going to be playing a character called Valel and he is a member of the House of El so he's going to be quite crucial in the first few episodes and I'm fairly certain he is the one who's going to die pretty early on because he's a massive actor. It will cost them so much. And I feel like he's going to be the motivation for Segel actually to listen to Adam Strange's advice. But we'll get on to Adam Strange in a minute because we get our first look at him. But it seems like Ian's character in this scene is actually walking to his execution because in another photo from a different trailer, we see him in cuffs and he's walking with the guards. And about the guards, I will talk about them in a minute once we move on to the shot where we we actually see the guards full on but moving back we see the very icy blue shot again with Segal kneeling and this is a shot from above so this is a bird's eye view shot and bird's eye view shots I'm a massive fan of obviously it's a very Alfred Hitchcock thing to do so it's definitely been inspired by that so I'm a massive fan of that so it's a really really nice shot and I love seeing things from above and I think they're going to try and incorporate more of the cinematic film techniques into this TV show because like I said earlier it's a higher budget TV show it will have more experienced directors on and they will be able to do those things and obviously they have less of a struggle on budget like say the CW shows because they won't have the budget to get all the cranes above and do things like that but anyway moving on to the next shot so we see the guards and my theory is that these guys are part of the Kryptonian military guild so they're going to be playing a big part because there's going to be a rebellion which we see shots of in a minute as you can see in the next shot we see Tegel with some survivors and it seems like they're part of the rebellion that's my I guess as of now and so these guards are going to play a big part so Segal is seen fighting some later but I'm really interested to see how they're actually portrayed in this TV show because in the comics they change allegiances every now and again so we'll see how they're actually portrayed when we get on to season one when we see it 
and it's coming March 21st, so we don't have very long. But another repeated shot of that very icy blue landscape with the very Hitchcocky shot from above. So big fan of that again. This is the most interesting shots. If you actually go to this bit, it's a few seconds long and you can see Krypton's red sun. Obviously, that gives you the hint. This ship, this thing floating in space, whatever it is being able to move, is heading towards Krypton or heading towards its galaxy. So it's in its galaxy right now and it seems like it's going to Krypton. But I am 99% sure this is Brainiac ship because if you look at the comparison from the comics you can see Brainiac ship has the tentacles coming out of it and this just looks exactly like it so with the casting of Brainiac back in November which I actually missed until today when my friend Robo actually showed me it so thanks Robo his link will be in the description below and I can 100% confirm that Brainiac is going to be the main villain who is actually traveling back in time to try and kill Superman's ancestors so members of the house of L and I think that's what Adam Strange who we see in the next shot is actually referring to so I'm very excited get hyped for that because Brainiac is one of the best Superman villains of all time if not the best Superman villain of all time but in the next shot we get to see Adam Strange and yes he doesn't have his comic book white and red costume and that's probably because he hasn't been sent through the Zeta beam and he hasn't arrived on Ran yet and Ran in the comics plays a big part in this character storyline so it seems like somehow he has got to Krypton even though he's from Earth, you can see he's got a Detroit hat on, that's what was said at the recent TCAs which were today, and so it seems like he's just a normal American citizen, but no, he has come back in time, he has travelled across the universe to get here to warn him about Brainiac, is coming back in time to kill members of the House of L, to stop Superman from ever existing. So. He is warning him and in the comics obviously Adam Strange is a superhero and he helps a lot of our heroes out and I'm very excited to see him because he is a pretty unknown character to people that don't read the comics and he's very mysterious and I'm just super excited hopefully by the end of the season we might get to see him suited up or potentially in season 2 because they do have plans to go on past season 1 which would be a great thing if this show turns out to be really good because it's looking so cinematic so good right now but we see a very spectacular ant's I view shot up at Krypton in one of its big cities so that is most likely Kandor. But this links back into the rebellion idea because Segel obviously in the trailer references the rebellion and I referenced it earlier and he's fighting one of the guards and these guards are different from the other guards but I still think they're like a different rank of guards I'm not sure on that correct me if I'm wrong but I'm fairly certain it's something to do with that and then we get a few random shots of different people that I'm unsure as of now who they're actually playing so I'm not going to speculate on that because I have no idea but this shot is really interesting and it links back with one of the opening scenes where we saw val -El, which is played by Ian McKenley so I think this is the scene where he actually dies so this guard I'm not sure what type of guard she actually pulls the trigger and in the next shot We see Segel being held back by the guards and we see a different type of guard behind him So it seems like it's someone that he really cares about and it makes most sense to me that it's Valel due to him being Handcuffed before this so that's my theory as of now for that but another shot of Adam Strange and Segel He's giving him a blanket. I think it is or it could be Kal-El's cape from present day it does actually really remind me of the original Superman cape so what do you think about that maybe it's evidence that he knows Superman that he's not bullshitting him so it seems like that could be what's happening there but he's trying to convince him and I'm guessing in the end this actually convinces Segel something's going on he needs to do something a really nice wide shot of the two and Adam Strange is walking away and it's back in the very blue icy scenery but in the next few shots we see the thing that Superman and Supergirl and everyone has they put it into their ships and it powers the ship and it's basically the Kryptonian form of a key I'm not sure if everyone uses it I'm not sure what the actual terminology for it is but it's used in a lot of things it's in Man of Steel it's in Supergirl it's in the original Superman films you know it's everywhere so it will be used to access some form of information on Krypton but I think this next shot is a shot inside of Brainiac's ship because if you know in the comics he obviously has the bottled cities and he has extremely advanced technology because he is an AI from Krypton originally and he gets away and he becomes Superman's greatest enemy. It seems like this could be inside the ship because it seems like his sort of technology plus the thing encasing the circular globe is very similar to the shot that we saw outside with the spaceship so I do think it's him 
looking in at the city, scouting it out. But one of the last shots, we see Segal out in the cold and he's been beaten up. You can see he's got blood all over his face. So I think he's been in a fight there. And just the final few shots really don't give us that much context, but it seems like someone's about to assassinate someone. And then the final shot of the trailer is putting one of those keys into a rock, which obviously powers something. And we're going to see what that is. And like I said before, it's definitely some sort of information that's going to be crucial for the Krypton TV show. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this Krypton trailer breakdown. So we're going to be doing more. So please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Krypton videos. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Sharp free team.